In January of this year, social media sort of erupted over a photo that actress Erin Moriarty shared. It was just of herself. I guess she was just feeling herself, thought she looked super beautiful, and shared the photo. And she looked drastically different than the Erin Moriarty that people on social media are accustomed to seeing. So what you're seeing right here, I'm going to show you the before and after. This is her when she first appeared on the scene in Hollywood. And then this was a photo that she shared. And there was major backlash to this photo because people were going, she looks so much better on the left, she looks so beautiful. She looks so sweet. Why would she do this to her face? She never needed this plastic surgery. Obviously, you know, I routinely cover circumstances like that where I'm just asking the question of why so many young people who are clearly beautiful and you're never going to look better than you do in your youth are turning to Botox and turning to injections to alter their face. There's also people that are getting that procedure where they suck the fat from their face. I guess they think it gives them a more chiseled, chiseled effect. But guys, trust me when I say you want to hold on to your fat because when you get older, it's only going to get more and more chiseled until we all look like uh, Empress Yizma from Emperor's New Groove. But anyways, I did not cover the story at that time at all. I obviously did see it circulating. It was super hot. And some people did cover it. Uh, among them, Megan Kelly did. And I'll tell you what she said. I'll show you what she said. Take a listen. There's this gal who starred in both of those. Her name is Erin Moriarty. And she's 29 years old. And she's a beautiful actress. But she's decided to completely change her face. This is a picture of her before, which I think was relatively recent, you know, within the past year or so. Very beautiful girl. So beautiful that she was becoming a very famous Hollywood actress, put on camera and on screen and on multiple shows and movies. Now look at her. Look at that. She's got the Kim Kardashian lips. She's made her nose so skinny. It looks like a pencil now. She's got like what appear to me to be cheek implants, you know, you like huge, the cheekbones are like out to here. Look at, she looked like a nice, beautiful, natural gal. And I'm sorry not to pick on this Moriarty gal, but this, like more and more young women are doing this. So just to be clear, first and foremost, Michael Knowles is sitting there listening. I'm just going to point out Michael Knowles. The Daily Wire is there, and that is who Megan is talking to. But to be clear, in terms of just the larger concept, I very much agree with Megan Kelly talking about this because I think it's really important to speak to young women who are feeling the pressure to look a certain way, to, to look like a prototype, to look like Kim Kardashian and have a plastic face and constantly be nipping and tucking because you're so afraid of aging. And I agree that it's very sad that women are doing this, but I wanted to bring up this particular story because it led to Erin Moriarty quitting social media, but not before she issued some choice words to Megyn Kelly. She wrote that she was, quote, horrified by the reaction, the reductive assumptions, and the, and the aforementioned video, but is a prime example of such harassment. It's broken my heart. You've broken my heart. You've lost the privilege of this account. There is no excuse for these horrific allegations, the verbal abuse that I have had to delete, and genuinely false information that is being used to perpetuate a message that is exhibitionist feminism. You don't have to believe me when I say that these videos are absolutely False. And then she went on to directly address Megan, writing this, shame on you, Megan Kelly, implying that my photo is reflective of women being in a worse place is as false as my conviction of saying that if you resigned, you would be leaving women in a better place. So I'm sharing this because, like I said, so many people covered the story and I definitely thought the photo was real. Uh, it is, they are two true photos, but the problem is that the photos are taken nearly a decade apart. And I think that what happened is it started going viral and people didn't actually fact check the before and fact check the after. And of course, if you are taking photos nearly a decade apart of any person, especially a young woman, she says uh, that that photo of her was taken before she was even legally allowed to drink. I fact checked that. That is true. And then the Second photo is taken as she is, quote, about to turn 30. So there, you're going to see a big difference between a young woman uh, at the beginning of her 20s and by the end of the decade. And that's not to say that she hasn't had some stuff done. Maybe she has. But of course, 
what people are actually outraged about and what she is pointing to is the fact that she's simply aged and she no longer has a baby face. So I think people accidentally used this situation to make a very important and a valid point, but we should always try to go back and correct the record just as conservatives as a whole, because even when we are trying to deliver a certain point or trying to deliver a larger point that does hold, we shouldn't in the process just sort of roll over somebody. So I actually felt really bad for Erin Moriarty after I read this. Again, I do still think that she maybe had some tweaks, but in reality, she said she posted it because she thought she looked really pretty, and she's heavily, she has a lot of makeup in that after photo, whereas in the beginning, she looks very fresh-faced, and maybe this makeup artist just took a lot of liberty, and that's what she said. She said the makeup artist chiseled her face with contouring. Yes, that is possible. You would be shocked to see the before and after as it pertains to contouring, and it is just sad to think that she shared it because she thought that she looked really good. And then what ended up happening was there was an absolute firestorm of people telling her that she was really ugly and stupid for changing her face. It doesn't feel good as a woman to hear that and to read that, especially when what you've really done, the biggest drastic thing that you've done to your face in this circumstance is age, right? And we can't stop that. So it's always just good to go back and correct the record. We don't always get it right, uh, but we do try to. And so I'm correcting the record on behalf of all conservatives in this circumstance. Hey guys, if you like this video, you will definitely like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here.